Hi, welcome to the second module, Conditioning in Python. Introduction to Python. Why should we use the Python programming language? Because it's easy to read, easy to debug, and easy to extend. The following are data types in Python. Integer is for numbers. Floating point or float is for decimal numbers. String is for sentences or characters. List is for sorting or sequences. Dictionary is for an unordered collection of data values. Tuple is to sort immutable order of objects. Set is an unordered collection of unique objects. And the last one is boolean is for logical value. The arithmetic operations in Python are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, exponent, and integer division. Why do we use conditional statements? It is to achieve the right output or logical action in program. Programming often involves examining a set of conditions and deciding several actions to take, based on that condition. Next is a logic flow diagram about conditioning. There are two alternatives. The first alternative is when a condition is declared true, and the second alternative is when a condition is declared false. These are the types of conditioning, if statement, if else statement, if elif else statement, and if nested statement. Now let's try together. Don't forget to install the Visual Studio Code software first. First, open Visual Studio Code, click File, open folder, and create a new folder. Rename it according to the format on the video. Click Select Folder. Then, click New File, and rename the file according to the format on the video. And don't forget to end it with .py. First, we're going to print Hello World. After you finish, don't forget to save. Run Python file in terminal and see the result. The next step is to create a variable. In this example, s is a variable that will be filled with a string data type, which means the data type of the variable x becomes a character. Look at the video. Don't forget to save, run Python file in terminal, and see the result. Next is the data type in the form of numbers. Add eval or end, so the data type of variable x will be a number. Look at the video. Don't forget to save, run Python file in terminal, and see the result. And last but not least, is the arithmetic process commands in Python. Variable A is additional, variable B is subtraction, variable C is multiplication, variable D is division, variable E is the modulus, and variable F is the exponent. Don't forget to save, run Python file in terminal, and see the result. This is an example of an if statement type condition. In the first example, there is a condition if a is more than equal to 7. After you finish with the coding, don't forget to save. And after saving, Right-click on the workspace and select Run Python File in Terminal. The program will run if there are no errors. Type the value you want to input here. The following is an example for if-else statement. In this second example, we will be using the same concept as the previous example by adding an alternative when the condition is false.
After you finish with the coating, don't forget to save. Terminate with the trash icon and right click on the workspace and select Run Python File in Terminal. Then the program will run if there are no errors. Enter a number greater than 7 and see the result. Run Python again and enter any number less than 7 and see the difference. The following is an example for the if, elif, else statement. In this third example, there are three alternatives. Elif will run if the first condition is not met or appropriate, and else will run if the second condition is not met or appropriate. After you finish with the coding, don't forget to save. And after saving it, right-click on the workspace and select Run Python File in Terminal. Then the program will run if there are no errors. Enter the number greater than 100 and see the result. Run Python again, enter a number equal to 100 and see the difference. Run Python again, enter a number less than 100 and see the difference. The following is an example of the if nested statement conditioning. If the first condition is true or appropriate, then the second condition is valid and continuous. After you finish with the coding, don't forget to save. And after saving it, right-click on the workspace and select Run Python in Terminal. Enter a number greater than 0 and see the result. Run Python again, enter a number equal to 0, and see the difference. Run Python again, enter a number less than 0, and see the difference. 